We are in a chapter called Coordinate Geometry. It is a chapter we are going to get about 7 marks in the public examination. Very easy chapter it is. All problems are based on formula. What is Coordinate Geometry? Coordinate Geometry is nothing but the algebraic tool of learning geometrical figures. And to understand the Coordinate Geometry, we should know what is Coordinate System. Coordinate system is a system of two axes, x-axis and y-axis. x-axis is called abscessa, y-axis is called ordinate. Both the axes, they intersect at a point called origin. The coordinate of the origin is 0, 0. Any point on the x-axis, its y-coordinate is 0. Any point on the y-axis, its y-coordinate is, uh, x-coordinate is 0. And then what I told you is, how to identify the distance between the two points? If the two points are parallel to the x-axis, the distance is given by the formula x2 minus x1. If the points are uh, parallel to the y-axis, then the distance is d is equal to y2 minus y1. If a point is there from the origin, distance of a point from the origin is calculated by the formula d is equal to square root of x square plus y square. If there are two points, how to find the distance? The formula is d that is called the distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. We derive this formula by using Pythagoras theorem. And then we completed one full exercise 7.1 complete exercise is based on distance formula. The next test I am going to give the problems on coordinate geometry therefore you have to follow properly. Because this is a scoring area. If you wanted to score good marks in mathematics, you have to study this particular chapter because this complete chapter is based on the formulas. The second thing is, the previous class I told you something about another formula called the section formula. Section formula help us to tell us the how to find the coordinate of a point which divides the given line segment in, in a particular ratio. There the formula is x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. Very simple. m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by uh, m1 plus m2. Same way y is equal to m1 y2. 1 means next is 2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. The extension of this uh, section formula is uh, midpoint formula. x is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2. y is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Section formula is derived with the help of similar triangles. Derivation may not be come for the public examination, but derivation is required for your future studies. Therefore, it is your duty to understand, learn and practice the derivations. Right? Now I am in exercise 7.2. This particular uh, exercise is based on midpoint formula and the section formula. The first problem is like this. And all problems, I, I repeat, all problems of coordinate geometry are important. Why? Because all, formula, all problems are based on formula. The first we already solved a problem on distance formula. Now we are solving a problem on section formula or midpoint formula. That we have to understand. See. Exercise 7.2 Find the coordinates of the point which divides the joint minus 1 comma 7 and 4 comma minus 3 in the ratio 2 is to 3. When the ratio 2 is to 3, it cannot be a midpoint formula. Midpoint formula means 1 is to 1. The same ratio should be same. See, the problem can be written diagrammatically as right. What he is telling is there is a line segment, two points are there, AB, AB, and the coordinate of this point is minus 1 comma 7, and the coordinate of another point is 4 comma minus 3. There is a point that divides this join of A and B, 
in the ratio 2 is to 3 in the ratio 2 is to 3 we have to find the coordinate of that point we have to find the coordinate of the point that is going to divide the given uh, line in the ratio 2 is to 3 see since the ratio is 2 is to 3 I am using what is known as section formula in the section formula what are the uh, data given the given the given part I write given the first one is m1 is to m2 m1 is to m2 means ratio ratio is 2 is to 3 is given the ratio then this one I make it as one coordinate as x1 y1 I take x1 y1 as minus 1 comma 7 and x2 y2 as x2 y2 as 4 comma minus 3 I wanted to find the coordinate of x comma y x comma y is equal to 1 the point that divides the given line segment in the ratio 2 is to 1 the formula is what is the formula x is equal to formula I want to remember x is equal to m1 I write 1 is there then it is x2 m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 now here only I substitute x is equal to m1 what is m1 2 2 into x2 x2 4 2 into 4 plus m2 m2 is 3 into x1 x1 is minus 1 divided by m1 plus m2 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 x is equal to 8 2 for the 8 plus 3 into minus 1 minus 3 by 2 plus 3 5 2 plus 3 is 5 therefore x is equal to 8 minus 3 is 5 5 by 5 5 by 5 is equal to 1 cancel x is equal to 1 I got the coordinate of the x x coordinate x equal to 5 now I find the y coordinate what is the formula for the y? y is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 y is equal to what is m1? 2 into y2 y2 is minus 3 y2 is minus 3 plus m2 m2 is 3 into y1 y1 is 7 y1 is 7 divided by m1 plus m2 2 plus 3 how easy it is 2 minus 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 3 into 7 is 21 divided by 5 y is equal to uh, 21 minus 6 is 15 15 divided by 5 15 divided by 5 15 divided by 5 is 3 y coordinate is 3 x coordinate is 1 y coordinate is 3 the answer is I write the answer here only coordinate coordinate of the point is x comma y 1 comma 3 I repeat once again very simple easiest problem it is what he is asking is we have to find the coordinates of the point which divides the joint minus 1 comma 7 and 4 comma minus 3 in the ratio 2 is to 3 I have written this in the schematic form there is a line AB coordinate of A is uh, minus 1 comma 7 I consider this as x1 y1 and the coordinate of B is 4 comma minus 3 I consider this as x2 y2 and this line segment is divided by a point P 
that is x comma y that we have to calculate and this point p divides the line segment in the ratio 2 to 3 therefore the first the given part is the ratio is given m1 is to m2 is equal to 2 comma 3 x1 y will be taken as minus 1 comma 7 x2 or y2 will be taken as 4 comma minus 3 and we have to find the x y formula easy to remember this formula because it is not equal to x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m plus 1 by substitution and simplification I got x is equal to 1 same way y is equal to m1 y2 plus 1 m2 y1 divided by m plus m1 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 plus m2 substitution simplification I got 3 y is equal to 3 therefore the coordinate of point is 1 comma 3 this type of problem is very important for the public examination because this problem is based on the formula. Remember the formula, substitute, simplification, you get the marks. Second problem of the exercise 7.2 based on section formula is find the coordinates of the points. Find the coordinates of the points of trisection of the line segment joining 4, comma minus 1 and minus 2 comma minus 3 what is the statement is here there is a line segment we consider this as a the coordinates are 4 comma minus 1 and minus 2 comma minus 3 the line segment this line segment is trisected trisected means 3 divisions you have to make of this line Therefore, here one point I write. Here one point. Trisected. Now this is, I call this point as P and this point as Q. And I consider this uh, coordinate of this point P as this point P because if I consider this as X1 and Y1, if this is I consider as xy then first I find the point P coordinate of the point P it is a point of trisection means here the ratio is 1 this side ratio is 1 this side the ratio is 2 understand trisection now if I consider the P as x comma y because in the formula x comma y is there the P is equal to this side it divides in the ratio 1, that side it divides. Same way, if you wanted to find, again, one more problem is there. If you wanted to find Q, then this side it becomes 2 and that side it becomes 1. Uh, since the variable we use is x comma y, I don't write for the Q. First I find P and then I go for the Q. Q as second one. The problem is very simple. There is a right segment. The coordinates are 4 comma minus 1 and minus 2 comma minus 3. There are points of trisection. The points of trisection are P and Q I consider. Now I consider the point P divides the line AB in the ratio 1 is to 2 and its uh, coordinate is x comma y. First I write the given part. Here only I write. The given part is, the first problem given part is ratio m1 is to m2 m1 is to m2 is equal to 1 is to 2 right then x1 y1 x1 y1 is 4 comma minus 1 then x2 y2 x2 y2 is equal to minus 2 comma minus 3 now I want to find x comma equals right formula x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 now I substitute x is equal to m1 m1 means 1 into x2 x2 means minus 2 plus m2 means 2 into x1 4 
divided by 1 plus 2. The ratio is 1 is to 2, therefore it is 1 plus 2. x is equal to minus 2 plus 8. Minus 2 plus 8 divided by 1 plus 2 is 3. x is equal to 6 by 3. x is equal to 6 by 3 is 2. The coordinate of x is 2. Right? Now I find the coordinate of y. Coordinate of y is y is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. M1 plus m2. Y is equal to what is the value of m1? 1. Y2, y2 is minus 3 plus m2, m2 is 2. Y1, Y1 is minus 1 divided by 1 plus 2. 1 is to 2 it is written as 1 plus 2. Y is equal to minus 3, minus 3, minus 2. 1 into minus 3, minus 3, 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. By 1 plus 2 is 3. Y is equal to minus 5 by 3. Y value is 3. Therefore, coordinate, coordinate of the point, point of trisection is 2 comma minus 5 by 3. 2 comma minus 5 by 3. One a part is over. The second part is, I write the diagram once again. Now the diagram has to be changed. What is that point? The line is AB. Line is what? AB. Coordinate of A is 4 comma minus 1. Coordinate of B is minus 2 comma minus 3. P and Q are the points of trisection. Now I wanted to find coordinate of Q and it divides in the ratio. The ratio, you have to understand the ratio. The ratio is this part is 2 and this part is 1. This part is 1. Points of trisection. In this problem what happened? Uh, given the two problems are there given m1 is to m2 m1 is to m2 is equal to 2 is to 1 in the previous problem it is 1 is to 2 now it is 2 is to 1 because q is here this side is 2 this side is 1 and uh, x ka, x1 y1 x1 y1 is the same thing 4 comma minus 1 x2 y2 x2 y2 is uh, Minus 2 comma minus 3. We have to find x comma y. x comma y is equal to first R. Right? Now, I write it here only. Find the formula. The formula is x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. Simple uh, uh, formula to remember. X is equal to, what is M1? M1 is 2. What is X2? X2 is minus 2. Plus M2. M2 is 1. What is X1? X1 is 4. Divided by M1 plus M2 means 2 plus 1. X is equal to 2 into minus 2 minus 4 plus 1 into 4, 4 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3. Now this becomes minus 4 plus 4 is 0 by 3. x is equal to 0 becomes, x is equal to what? 0. That is the x coordinate. The formula for the y coordinate, same type of uh, formula, y is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 
divided by m1 plus m2 substitution y is equal to m1 means what 2 y2 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 is minus 3 plus m2 m2 is 1 into y1 is minus 1 divided by m1 plus m2 is 2 plus 1 y is equal to 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3 y I got it as minus 7 by 3 y I got it as what? minus 7 by 3 therefore coordinate coordinate of the point of trisection point of trisection is 0 comma minus 7 by 3 0 comma minus 7 by 3 there are two points of trisection one is 2 comma minus 5 by 3 another one is 0 comma minus 7 by 3 I repeat the problem once again the second problem is find the coordinates of points of trisection there are two points are there of the line segment uh, 4 comma minus 1 and minus 2 comma minus 3 see here there is a line okay. coordinates are 4 comma minus 1 and minus 2 comma minus 3 points of trisection means one is p another one is q first i find the p in the p case the ratio is 1 is to 2 in the q case the ratio is 2 is to 1 that is the difference the p is 1 is to 2 the ratio is 1 is to 2 x1 y1 4 comma minus 1 x2 y2 minus 2 comma minus 3 x y plus 1 this doesn't go to change it will be the ratio change then formula remember the formula x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 substitution x i got it as 2 same way formula for the y m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 substitution and simplification i got minus 5 by 3 as 5 Therefore, the coordinate of the first point of my section is 2 comma minus 5 by 3. Same way. I am going to find the point of my section of another point that is Q. There the ratio is 2 is to 1. Same procedure I follow. Same formula. Then I got the coordinate as 0 comma minus 7 by 3. Now two points are there. One is 2 comma minus 5 by 3. Another one is 0 comma minus 7 by 3. This type of problem are very important for the examination because all the problems are based on formula. Problem number 3 of exercise 7.2 is an activity based problem. Lengthy problem, I made it short. See the problem is like this. In a school day, school sports day, the tracks are put. 10 tracks are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tracks are there. And the total length is 100 meters. 100 meters. For every meter, one flower pot is kept. Like this, 100 is there. 100 meters. Right? And the whole school field is named as ABC. ABC. In the school, what happened? There is a display of flags. One girl by name Niharika takes green flag. Niharika takes yellow. Yellow represents the Niharika. Niharika takes green flag and she runs in the second leg on the second on the second leg and she covers one fourth of a d. I already told you here this is 100 meters. 100 meters. Now Niharika is in which line? Second line. Therefore the x coordinate, the coordinate is 2. Second, second line she is. And she is able to cover 1 fourth of AD. AD is how much? Tell me. AD is 100. 1 fourth of 100 is 25. 1 fourth of 100 is what? 25. Try to understand this. It's a very simple thing it is. 1 fourth of AD, AD is 100 meters. 1 fourth, quarter of AD. Half of AD means 50. Quarter of AD means 25. She able to run 25 meters and she holds 
hoist a green flag green color flag she hoists understood niharika runs on which line second line and completes one fourth of a d one fourth of a d i write one fourth one fourth of a d is 100 if you cancel you get 25 right there is one more boy preet preet with a red flag he runs on the eighth line eighth line this is the eighth. one two three four five six seven eight eighth line therefore his x coordinate is eight comma and complete one fifth of a d one fifth one fifth of a d one fifth of a d a d is hundred one by five into hundred it becomes twenty she run, uh, he runs 20 meters she runs 25 meter and hoists a red color flag right red color flag. now what they ask us to find is we have to find what is the distance between them we have to find the distance between them and at the mid point of that distance one more girl by name rashmi she comes and hoists the blue flag and you have to find the coordinate of that uh, position of the uh, girl called rashmi therefore the first thing is we have to find the distance we have to find the what is that distance distance we have to find to find the distance see i join this we have to find the distance this distance here the This distance, I take the color. Can easily understand because the Rashmi has to come and hoist the blue flag in the middle of us. To for, to find the middle of this, we have to find the distance. First, first find the distance. The distance. See, distance can be calculated by distance formula, not by section formula. Therefore, the first is distance formula. Distance formula. Distance formula. D is equal to. If they ask to find the distance, D is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is distance formula. Right? The x1 y1. I take x1 y1 is the coordinate of Niharika. Niharika is two comma twenty five, and x two y two I consider the coordinate of Preet that is eight comma twenty, eight comma twenty. Now substitute and find the distance. This is not the problem based on section formula. It is problem based on distance. When they ask to find the distance, distance formula. D is equal to square root of X two minus X one means eight minus two whole square. Eight minus two whole square plus twenty minus twenty minus twenty five. Twenty minus twenty five whole square. Twenty minus twenty five whole square. Now D is equal to square root of eight minus two is six six square. Plus 20 minus 25 is minus 5 whole square. D is equal to square root of 36 plus minus 5 whole square is 25. D is equal to now you have to add this. 6 plus 5 is 11. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. Root 61. Root 61 units. Root 61 units is the distance between the positions of Niharika and Prith. Now the question is: Now the Rashmi has to come and uh, install or hoist uh, blue color flag. Now that this may be the position of Rashmi, I think this is the position of Rashmi R. Rashmi is R, and she has to hoist uh, what color flag? She has to hoist blue color. Flag.
and this is the what they are telling is this is the midpoint. I wanted to find the coordinate of the point of Rashmi, position of Rashmi I am writing. But this is midpoint, midpoint means the distance between Niharika and Rashmi and the distance between Rashmi and Prim should be equal. Midpoint, we are midpoint, the given midpoint means midpoint formula. Easily you can write the midpoint, midpoint formula is very easy. Midpoint formula, midpoint formula, always it is better to write the title and write the formula. X is equal to X1 plus X2, simple formula it is. X1 plus X2 divided by 2, Y is equal to Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. Here, x1 y1 is of the position of Niharika that is 2 comma 25 and x2 y2 x2 y2 is the position of Preet that is 8 comma 20 now I find the midpoint where the Rashmi is the position of the Rashmi that is x is equal to formula is written here x1 means 2, x2 means uh, 8 by 2, x is equal to 10 by 2, x is equal to 5, 10 by 2 is 1, 5. Now I want y, y is equal to y1 is 25 plus y2 is 20 by 2 y is equal to 45 25 plus 20 is 45 by 2 you can write in a decimal point it is better because they in the graph we can get the decimal point fractions you not get 20 45 by 2 is 22.5 22.5 is 45 right the uh, uh, x coordinate is 5 and y coordinate is 22.5. Therefore, therefore, position of Rashmi, position of Rashmi, Rashmi is x, x is 5, 5 comma 22.5. That is the, this is x coordinate, this is y coordinate. I repeat the problem once again. See, this is the activity based problem. In a school sports day, 10 lines are put, 100 meters track, the field is named as ABCD, Niharika, a girl with a green color flag, runs on the second line and covers 1 fourth of the AD. AD is 100 meters. Two, uh, 1 fourth of AD means 1 fourth of 100, that is equal to 25. Therefore, the position of Niharika is 2 point to 2 comma 25. That is the position of the green flag. Preet runs on the 8th line, covers 1 fifth of the AD. Therefore, the position of the red flag, he holds red flag, the position of the red flag is 8 comma 20. Now, we have to find the distance between these two. The distance is calculated by distance formula. Distance formula is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. I got the answer as root 61 unit. Now, another girl by name Rashmi runs and hoists a blue color flag in the middle, exact middle point of the uh, line segment of Niharika and Pri. And we have to find that position of the Rashmi. The position of the Rashmi is uh, calculated by midpoint formula. She has to run on the fifth line and she has to cover 22.5 meters to get the exact midpoint of the line and she is going to hoist blue color flag. That is the idea. Therefore, here we use two formulas. One is the distance formula, another one is midpoint formula. Then you may ask, sir, this is the exercise based on the section formula. How come it is? Section formula is not used. You should understand mid for, midpoint formula is derived with the help of the section formula. The extension of the section formula is midpoint formula. Therefore, 
midpoint formula and section formula is one and the same. But in the midpoint formula, the ratio is 1 is 2. In the section formula, any, any other ratio we can use. Here, we use midpoint formula. So the problem of the exercise 7.2, this is a very important problem. It has already came for the public examination. Here, what, is, what, is, what they are asking is, find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus 3 comma 10 and 6 comma minus 8 is divided by the point minus 1 comma 6. The problem is like this. See, there is a line. Imagine there is a line. Right? The coordinate of this point A is minus 3 comma 10. Coordinate of B is, we consider this as 6 comma minus 8. Now, there is a point here, P. And the coordinate of this point A, the P is on the line AB. The coordinate of the P is minus 1 comma 6. Now, we have to find at what ratio this point P is dividing this line segment AB. Therefore, we have to find, find the ratio M1, M2. Ratio we don't know. The previous problem was that we are given the ratios, we are able to find the value of x and y. In this problem, we are given x and y, we have to find the ratio. Easy problem this. This is the very important problem because already came for the public exam. Try to understand. Here x1, y1 is we know. x2, y2 we know. We know x, y, but we don't know m1 and m2. Right? Therefore, the given part is, I write the given part. Uh, given. The given part is, x1, y1, they are given. I consider this as minus 3, comma 10. x2, y2, that is 6, comma minus 8. And they are given x comma y, the point of uh, the division, that is also given, x comma y, that is 1 minus 1 comma 6. Now we have to find the ratio m1 is to m2. The ratio is to cap. To find the ratio, here the ratio is there, therefore this formula is section formula. Section formula, first we I find x, x is equal to, what is the formula? m1, x2 plus m2, x1 divided by m1 plus m2. Here, x is known to be, what is x? x is minus 1. x is what? Minus 1. Already given equal m1 i don't know m1 m1 i write it as m1 x2 x2 is 6 into 6 plus m2 i don't know the value of m2 into x1 x1 is minus 3 divided by i don't know the value of m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 i don't know first little bit of simplification 6 m1 minus 3 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 right now I cross multiply minus m1 minus m1 minus m2 is equal to 6 m1 minus 3 m2 Right? Now what we do is M2 all one side, M1 all one side, we segregate. While segregating, make it positive. Here 6 M1 is there, minus M1 is there, I transfer minus M1 to that side, it becomes positive. Here minus M2 is there, here minus 3 M2 is there, minus 3 M3 M2 I transfer to this side, then it becomes plus. This side transfer to this side, and this side transfer to that side. Therefore, it becomes what? 
minus 3m2 on that side it becomes 3m2 minus m2 is equal to minus m1 from this side m1 plus 6m1 minus 3 m2 on that side it becomes plus minus m2 m2 on one side m1 on one side 3m2 minus m2 is 2m2 m1 plus 6m1 is 7m1 See. 2m2 is equal to 7m1 therefore I got the ratio therefore m1 is 2m2 m1 is to m2 if you want m1 you have to take this coefficient of m2 that is 2 is to 7 you can verify it in the ratio problem product of the means product of the means is equal to product of the extremes product of the means is equal to product of the extremes 2 into m2 2 m2 7 into m1 7 that is a cross verification, it is not required. Some children may write m1 is to m2, 7 is to 2, 7 is to 2, no. It is 2 is to 7. m1 ratio is 2, m2 ratio is 7. Criss cross it is. m1 is to m2 is equal to 2 is to 7. If you write m1 by m2, you have to write 2 by 7. Right? Very simple problem. It is already came for the examination. Be careful. I repeat once again. See. This is the reverse of the problem number one. In the problem number one, they are given ratio. We are able to find the coordinates of the point of division. Here the point of division is given, and we have to the co coordinates of the point of division is given. We have to find the ratio. The formula what we are going to use is section formula. The problem is find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus three comma ten and six comma minus e is divided by point minus one comma six. The ratio is m1 is to m2 are required to calculate. To find the ratio, there is no need to find, take the two coordinates. I can solve a problem by taking x or I can take even solve by uh, the coordinate y. If you take y formula also, you can get the same ratio. Right? You can verify. The given part is x1, y1 is given, x2, y2 is given, xy is given. We have to find the ratio. I think in one section formula of x, x is equal to formula is there. m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. Substitution. Finally, I got the expression, the equation like this. 2m2 is equal to 7m1. Therefore, m1 is to m2 is equal to 2 is to 7. The cross verification is if you multiply product of the means and product of the extremes, you have to get this. Therefore, m1 is to m2 is equal to 2 is to 7.